Hello everyone, my name is Ishwara Srinivasan and welcome back to my channel. A couple of weeks ago, I was in New York to watch the US Open Finals. As someone who is new to watching tennis, I was very intrigued by how the game is played, the strategies the players had on the court and of course the endurance that they needed to play through a long game. While I was enjoying the game, there was something I absolutely could not ignore. My data science brain got sparked. I saw match analytics by IBM Watson, which was showing the probability of each of the players winning the match along with the explainability of the model that was used to predict the probability. The main screen showed us very simple comprehensive insights about the features that were contributing towards the particular model prediction. But I wanted to know more about how they were gathering this data. Some of the very obvious data points I could think of is hist historical data of the players, their wins and losses, their current match statistics like serve speed, ball touches on different parts of the court, number of aces, points over the present day matches, etc. But I wanted to see what other data does US Open collect that is being analyzed by IBM Watson. So after digging up a little bit, I got more insights into what I thought was sh worth sharing with my audience. If you are someone who is interested in data science and its applications in sports analytics, this is for you. IBM has published a deep dive case study on how they built match insights for the US Open matches. According to the report, each US Open consists of 128 men and 128 women single players and a total of 7 rounds of each tournament. Each tennis player comes with his or her own history of data sets including age, height, weight, world ranking, recent performance, etc. Over the course of the tournament, more than 125,000 points will be played. And each one of these points generates its own data set. Serve direction, speed, return shot type, winner shot type, rally count, and even ball position. All in all, more than 7 million data points are generated during the tournament. Along with all this data, IBM and US Open decided to go one step further and the team is analyzing language and sentiment of millions of articles from hundreds of thousands of different sources to develop insights that are unique and informative like the IBM Power Index with Watson. These insights are incredible to observe and undoubtedly improves the audience experience and engagement during the match. Is this all sports analytics is about? No, it isn't. There are many more applications of sports analytics. For example, the players could be wearing smart watches or other gadgets which would be tra tracking their vitals. The equipment that the sports person is using would have sensors which track various hand movements or trajectory of balls, etc. Now, using all this information, the team physiotherapist or the coach can analyze how the player has been performing through different matches and how to train them better or how to strategize team positions. Thinking one step even further, imagine having all of this information about a player. Teams can decide who should be a new player they should be getting into the team. Well, this is just some food for thought. Now, your homework is to go and read more about sports analytics and figure out how different sports and organizations are using this data to make better decisions. By the way, this video is purely based on my observations after attending the game and has not been sponsored by IBM. Stay tuned for more such content on data science AI and its application in real life. Subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates. Thank you so much.